Le premier soir, je me suis donc endormie sur le sable à mille milles de toute terre habitée. J'étais bien plus isolée qu'un naufragé sur un radeau au milieu de l'océan. Alors vous imaginez ma surprise au lever du jour quand un drôle de petite voix m'a réveillée, elle disait « S'il vous plaît, dessine-moi un mouton. » Hi all, that was me reading the back of Le Petit Prince. Okay, this is the version um, that they're selling in the shops along with a couple of other versions. This is the one with the blue cover and then they have, you know, the pocket size. This is a lot of versions. They've brought them all out for the 70th anniversary of Le Petit Prince. So, Le Petit Prince is a story about an aviator who crashes in the Sahara, de Sahara Desert. And he has very little food and water. And as he's contemplating how is he going to get out of the situation, he hears a voice say to him, draw me a sheep. So, he turns hearing this voice. And what does he see? A little blonde boy. Um, begging him to draw him a sheep. From there, the narrator, who is this aviator, and the Petit Prince become friends. They then learn about each other's worlds. Um, Le Petit Prince talks about the, the details of his planet and worrying about um, plants and how they grow and not wanting them to grow too much and taking care of his planet. And in the process, he talks about having found a rose growing in the middle of the planet. Well, he median falls in love with this rose, except the only problem is later on, the rose tells a lie. And in telling the lie, it makes Le Petit Prince feel very lonely and sad. And from there, he vows to go off and explore other worlds. Okay, so that's basically the beginning of the story. Um, now, the story continues on where uh, the little prince goes off and he meets a lot of different characters. And every time he meets a character, it's like you're starting a new parable. Now, some people aren't going to like this. I can say that right now. I was afraid that I wasn't going to like it anymore either. Um, this is my second reading of Le Petit Prince. I read it the first time. I think it was my second year of high school. So that was eons ago. And I didn't really understand it. And, you know, and I think my French was lacking, especially in my verb tenses. Um, Passé simple wasn't so good. So I had difficulty understanding the book. Now it's many years later. I understand French a lot better. And I got really afraid when I start seeing these parables. Because it started to remind me of The Alchemist. I didn't like The Alchemist. I just thought that was not a good book. That's just me. Okay, I don't want to offend, offend anyone out there who liked The Alchemist. Not my cup of tea at all. But I would say, if you did like The Alchemist, you will probably like this book. Um, although I did like it, I gave it a three stars on Goodreads. I changed it from a four to a three because once I had time to think about it, um, I didn't, I didn't really like it. I just liked it. Um, I enjoyed the combination of reading the story itself and compiled with, uh, the drawings and the, you know, the storyline itself. Uh, yeah, I thought it was okay. Um, but I wouldn't go further than that. Let me see. Here's another one. Another picture. The pictures are great. Um, so yes, yeah. so I would say um, the main themes of this book are um, narrow-mindedness and the, the, the complications around being narrow-minded. Um, there's also themes about enlightenment. Not necessarily religious enlightenment, but it could be religious enlightenment. Um, I think it depends on the way you interpret the story. Um, there's a lot of allegory going on. You know, there's water, the train, um, stars. You know, there's a lot of typical allegory going on in the story. And if you're not the type that likes allegory, stay away from this book because that's all that's going on in it. 
Um, now, um, enough about that. Let's talk about Antoine de saint exupéry He was an aviator and a writer. The few books that he wrote have all been at least literarily um, uh, accomplished in a way because they've been um, awarded um, prizes or mentioned, honorable mentions, that kind of thing. And a lot of his books uh, deal with um, aviation. Um, Le Petit Prince was written in, oh, sorry, was published in 1943. And in 1943, he was going off to war uh, to fight uh, to protect Europe from, the, uh, from, from Nazism. And he went and joined, I think it was called the French, uh, I think it's called the, the Free French Air Force or something like that. He joined. And keep in mind, he joined that at an age, he was, you know, way over the age to be going to war, but he was obviously a very passionate man. And he had been on a uh, three, four year hiatus living in the U.S. And he felt compelled to go and fight in World War II. Um, needless to say, in 1944, he went missing. So if you know anything about him, yeah, he went missing in 1944. Um, he was on his last mission um, somewhere over the, the Mediterranean Sea. Um, so, yeah. So, The Little Prince, the way it starts with the, 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 the narrator crashing in the Sahara Desert, that actually happened to Antoine Saint-Exupéry with another pilot. They crashed in the Sahara Desert. They were trying to, I think, do some kind of a, um, a speed race or something like that. They crash and they almost died of, of you know, starvation in the water. Um, but I think they were found by some Bedouin in the desert. And these Bedouin used this kind of old Bedouin tactic um, process to um, revive people that have been dehydrated. And that's what saved their lives. So I think that incident in his life was the beginning um, idea of Le Petit Prince, okay? So that's all I have to say. Um, write me down below if you've read the book and if you have, did you like it? Did you not like it? Why? You know, I say I liked it. Three stars on Goodreads. No more, no less.